Electric eels can discharge enough electricity to stun other fish. But what might happen if they misfire? So why don't electric eels electrocute themselves? First things first, did you know that electric eels aren't alone in having the shocking capability? They're actually part of a group of fish, including electric rays, electric catfish, and a few knifefish species. And all of them have an electric organ. The organ is made up of special muscle or nerve cells, which can produce electric fields. Sometimes species within this group wield their power for good. They might send a jolt to sense their surroundings, or even use it to court a potential suitor. Ah, the heartfelt zaps of love. But back to what we came here for. Electric eels can use this power for something much more extreme. They stun other fish with electricity. There are a few theories as to what keeps them safe from their own weapon. On one hand, it could come down to size. Electric eels can grow to be as long as 8 feet. That means they're magnitudes larger than the fish they're zapping. Since the charge they're blasting is good enough to take out tiny fish, that means were the eel to sting itself, it would hardly feel a thing. Or maybe it's all about location, location, location. That eight foot long fish has its electrical organ in its tail and vital organs like the heart and brain are all the way on the other side of its body in the head. And maybe it's about armor. Some theories say electric eels may have evolved a protective sheath of special insulating proteins. Finally, it could come down to environment. Some studies have shown that an electric fish might be more susceptible to their shocking powers out of water. That could be because the charge doesn't dissipate in the air as well as it does under the surface. And that means the fish gets a more concentrated shock. The truth is we don't know for sure why electric eels are safe from their own weaponry, but it's pretty good for them that they are. <laughs>